I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story and friend to the channel, Dennis Roxworthy. Well, he's bringing us another amazing Ford. Dennis, what did you bring today? I brought a 1956 Thunderbird, uh, three owner car, 53,000 original miles on it. It was, a, it was a total survivor and the man I got it from did a rotisserie restoration on it, which really didn't need to be done, but the guy liked the perfect car. So, <laughs> and I got every piece of paper from the day this car was built. Why not share another perfect car? <laughs> yeah, this is a good one. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so that turns into that. I'll just let you ponder that for a moment. Now, Dennis, this color, you're either going to really like it or you're not going to really like it. It has somewhat of a flesh tone to it but they call that buckskin, am I correct? Yeah, buckskin tan, Lou is the correct color. Buckskin tan. So just some of the things, the features, I just want to go back. We've got these bullet bumpers here. I want to show you this from the side. You can see you've got the bulge there, you have the bulge there, and when you look from the side, you can see those points sticking out. And I thought that was a good move with the egg crate grill. Yeah, kind of a Ferrari inspiration. Yes, the Ferrari grill, that was working. So why not do that? Now are these hubcaps? They look... No, those are, those are what they call full wire wheel covers. And they're correct, they're factory, that's an option. Okay. So uh, that's, you know, that was an option you could put on the car. So let me, I'm gonna stand back first. And Dennis, you've had this one how long now? I've had it for around 22 years, Luke. 22 years for this car. Now, right off the bat, we have the grating here. And I really like that little Ford crest there. I think that's just done so well. Even the styling on the mirror, the wraparound windshield. And one of the things I like about this car, it's set low, so when you're here and you're in it, you're almost, your head's almost right up over the, the dash there, yeah. Right. You have that nice touch on the back. You can see from this angle, and the sun's hitting it just right, you can see how that instrumentation lights up. I'll uh, show you this little piece here. And it was not a ton of chrome, no. but just the right amount of chrome. Kind of like a Corvette in the day when they didn't have a lot of chrome on them. Right. Let me show you the back of the car like so you've got your points your fins and well while I'm back here Dennis is going to share some trunk and treats all right let's take a look at our trunk and treats and Dennis does not disappoint so every 56 had the continental kit show me how the continental kit comes up because this is interesting okay Lou this is how it works very simple you got a handle right here okay I see it's it. kind of hidden you push down on it down. And gently let go of this. It swings back. And you got to be careful because yeah, it's the right kit actually the... hits here. That's why they, they got this trim that, so you don't damage I the paint. I see that. Yeah, there's that yeah. little trim piece. There. Right. And now the interesting thing is there's where your gas is, right. which is reminiscent of the 55. Exactly. In my opinion, I thought that they really could have designed that a little better. But Well, the 55 is not a problem. You don't have a kit. Right. So... And then the, this is... But still the fact that they had to put a hole in the trunk. <laughs> the trunk could have put gas yeah, in. Yeah, right. and there's your gas. But here's here's our trunk. And of course, you're looking at Dennis's car, which is, well, pretty much perfect. So we're going right back to 1956. And this little time machine starts with this. The newest version of America's most exciting car. And the 55 was extremely popular, uh, for sure. And let me show you the back and how this opens up. So this is actually not your color car. No, that's that that's a, like a coral sand color. Yeah, but it's it's somewhat close. I right. can see where a people might. A little more might, pink. Yeah. Yeah. The mom's having a discussion there with the young one. With mighty Thunderbird power for unsurpassed performance. I gotta say, you look cool in that. There's no doubt about that. I don't care who you are, you're gonna look cool in riding in something like this. 
a 225 horsepower and it talks about the trunk space which is adequate right and that's why they put the tire on the back because the tire takes up so much room in the trunk yeah so every 56 Thunderbird has a Continental kit. If it doesn't have a kit, it's something's wrong with it. And what they did in 57, Lou, they lengthened the quarter panel on the 57 Bird. Yeah. And put the tire back in the trunk. Yes. That car's a little longer than the 55 and 6. And yours is Sunset Coral, correct? No, this is called Buckskin Tan. Buckskin Tan. I'm sorry, Sunset Coral was the other color right. I showed on the Well, front. Sunset Coral is actually the color of that one to your left. There's buckskin tan. Right. No, that's pink. They made well, a pink well, one. I'm looking at it with a camera. Yeah. It's saying white and brown. It's talking about the interior and the top. And white and brown only comes oh, in. Oh, you're the, looking at the I see at the very doing. bottom. Right. Here. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, that's great for sure. Be very careful. Yeah, with the brochures weren't real big back then. Yeah. Well, not on the bird. So here's the dealer. Warranty information. That's from when the car was brand new, from the original owner. As I like to say, good luck for people trying to find this stuff. Oh, you won't. <laughs> Here's the service policy. Well, this is why I like to share this stuff, is because you just don't see it. Right. You know, and this here, is not copies. These are originals. I do have is, copies. But for the channel, well, we like to bring you the best that we can. So that's the original car invoice. There's your window sticker. And there's your window sticker. Look how everything was handwritten on stuff, too. Yeah. Notice that? The Ford division. Interesting how they have those holes in there. I know. This is the actual handbook. This is not a reproduction. Yep, that's, so, that's the one that came with the car. So I'm just going to, we're not going to go through piece by piece, but I wanted to just show you. Mm -hmm. And here's your. Avoid constant speeds greater than 60 miles per hour for the first 500 miles. You know, that's just great. This is tags that you won't necessarily see. Yeah, that came with the cards, and I got all kinds of tags, the heater tag, the radio tag, it's all in a file. The man that bought this car new saved everything. This one does not have the Y block, or does it have the no, Y block? No, this is a Y block. This is, okay. a, this is a high horse. This is a two and a quarter horse. They made a 292 also. They made a 312. Let me grab this. Yeah, yeah that's your turquoise. Great how they do that drawing. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Now there's my car in the background, the buckskin car. See it up on yeah, top? Yeah. Yeah. With a red one and a, and a black one. Well, that's just great. You can see how it connects down mm -hmm. here with a. I, I just want to show this as well. see how it has mm -hmm. that like that and that piece and then of course you've got your hole opening for that all right let's uh, go back to the car and we're back now one thing we'll make note of blue please the license plate yes the original plate that was issued with this car was brand new wow and i also have the black plates that went with it because that plate was only good up until 63. then they came out with a black plate that's what everybody talks about a black plate but that's what the 63 issue was. And then you can see the reverse light there. There's a little reflector and some of the rocket inspiration. Let's take a look at the interior. Dennis, may I? Sure, go ahead. Thank you. So this is kind of interesting. First of all, that lock mechanism mm -hmm. is very direct. And you can see that it comes into this piece here and there's a little spring load. You're greeted to another Ford Crest. I think the, the thing that I really enjoy about this car, though, is this interior. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. They really did this interior. I'll just show the colors there. 
the turned metal, you have the the working clock. Your steering wheel, you can see Master Glide power steering. Another Ford Crest, you know, with this one. Your RPMs over here. It says there. Power sure Ford power brakes. One of the ways to distinguish between the 55 and the 56 is clearly that's a vent there is that back end of it where you have the Continental kits because they wanted to add some mm -hmm. trunk space as you shared by taking the tire and putting it on the back. You notice the speedometer, it's a see through speedometer. The top is the top of the speedometer on the dash, you can see through it. See the glass on top? Yep. Trying to cover that just a little bit. But I do to answer your question. In 54 they came up with that. In 56 was the last year they did. The generator, the wipers. The town and country. Your heater. I like how they put that little V8 emblem right there. They didn't have to do that, but they did. And you can just see that door is really, really well designed. Now, the, I'm sure they had four speeds too, or three no, speeds? No, the, the three speed, they added a three speed, but there's more automatics than there are sticks. Got but it. they did have a three speed uh, transmission in these things. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? Sure. Now, the one thing you'll note on the 56 T Bird, yeah. see that door? That's let fresh air in. Yeah. The 55s didn't have it because it got too hot in the cabin. Yeah. So Ford had to re engineer something, so they put that out there so you get more air inside the car. Good to know that. I didn't know yeah. that the vent came from the, it was a 56. Uh, yeah, 56, 57. 56, 57. I knew the 57 had it, I didn't realize that they didn't have it in 55. And yeah. thankfully, you've got a 55, we'll feature that right. too. So as we look under the hood, I just want to show people how that opens opposite there. And as we come under the hood, well, the Thunderbird had the wonderful valve covers. And you could see the chrome air cleaner. You could see that venting is open. The other thing with the uh, 56, and yours is so well done. All the tags. This is uh, brakes? That is part of your power brake unit. Yeah, it's pretty bizarre. Oh, okay. Here's your master, and it, there's a line. See, this this yeah. line comes in, puts. So, this is your booster here for the power brake part. Got it. It's kind of a strange setup. It That's is a strange they setup. I yeah. see it actually coming off the, uh, the intake manifold. Man totally. That's the yeah. intake manifold to get vacuum. Right. Wow. Let me just come on this side for a second. So here we see, we have this piece here, too, on the radiator. I'll do that so you can mm -hmm. read that, too. And that sits nicely there. And we just moved to 12 volt, right? I mean, this Yeah, was... they went from a 6 volt to 12 volt and 56. Chrysler did the same thing. Now, Chevrolet was already at 12 volt and 55 when they restyle their cars. So they, they and that helps out too, just talking about the 12 volt. Mm -hmm. All of the hosing, the all important. Ident tag. Ident tag, let me make sure I get that just correct. Maybe it's easier to do it that way. I think I can get that that way. See if I can get that a little closer. Now another thing on the serial number on the car, you got that's the plate they go by, but there's also a stamping on the frame, and I'll show you where it's at. Sure. <clears throat> it's really hard to see, Lou. It's okay. very faint. Okay, right down here. This, this is warm, so you gotta be here. Right down there, along that rail, there's a number. It's really hard to tell. Because we're not in the sunlight. You can see it in the sunlight. But it's actually stamped in the frame. So that VIN number in the frame's got to match that one on the firewall. Got it. 
Yeah, it should be. It's along in here somewhere. Put your hand on yeah, the bed. Yeah, though. yeah. Okay. But, uh, I'm not seeing it right off the bat. No, it's there though. The, yeah. Hopefully the camera is finding that for us. Yeah. All right. We'll see if that's happened. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, let's fire it up, shall we? Sure. Want me to hook up, Luke? Sure. Okay, so we've positioned it so you can see it in the sun. Just like so. You can see how gleaming that is. One thing that I noticed that I didn't see before is that sticker right there. On the airplane. I think only with the camera would you be able to read that, so I'm taking my time on that. Dennis, let's, uh, let me show them the back end of this for just a moment because it looks so good. Single exhaust, correct? Double, no, dual. Dual exhaust? Oh, yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's do this. Can you step on the brakes for a second? I'm standing in front of the light just so you can see that. Okay, we can see that. All right, go ahead. Give it a, give it a rev. Taking a little of that carbon out of it. And that exhaust actually comes out the side. Right. I did not notice that at first. One more time, please. If I ever noticed that about the 56 that it comes out the yeah, side. Yeah, all like the T-Birds had duals. Now the 55 comes straight out the back of the balance, the rear body panel. 57 comes out, the, there's two on each side of the bumper, comes out through the rear bumper like this car. Yeah. But it comes straight out the back where this comes out on an angle. It does come out on an angle. All right. So let's take this one for a ride. Sounds good, Lou. Let's do it. So Dennis and I are here in the 56 and it's a little cool out, but we're uh, having a great time sharing this with you. I'll just share with you our ride because this one will, it's super smooth. Yeah, it's like driving a brand new 56 T-Bird, it's yeah. that tight. And the miles on it are all original, yeah, 52, less, than less than 53,000. And this is just... Uh, Wonderful to take it out. It's a three owner car. I'm actually, in all reality, I'm the third owner. And it feels good driving. Oh, it's just a wonderful car to drive. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, this is a classy car. It's not a car that we're trying to. It's not a hot ride. It's, it's a not a hot cruiser. ride. Yeah, it's a boulevard cruiser. That's exactly what it is. So we are spending some time enjoying this car, and I hope you are too. Thanks so much. Dennis for sharing another great car on the channel with us. Not a problem. It's always a pleasure.